Alright, what's going on YouTube? We're back with the second episode for how to create a uh, FPS game, AAA FPS game, I think that's what I'm going to call this series, from scratch. Now obviously I haven't uploaded the first video, so I'm going to probably just do a couple videos in a row. But, I thought we'd get to the next most important part, and that is looking around, camera movement, whatnot. Now I looked back at my old video, and that was about an hour long. And I'm and the whole point of the series is, is a to make it shorter and condense all the proper content uh, into a shorter amount of time, but still get it out the way it needs to be, you know, uh, taught and whatnot. So let's get right into it, and we're gonna open up our uh, row dude. Now, if you haven't done this already, we're going to want uh, you're gonna have the mouse input on here. Um, and you're going to want to put a camera in here. Now, obviously, we're, I'm going to keep the camera here. Now you're like, well, if we're doing a first-person shooter. Why are you having a third person? That's basically right now to see if things are working. So we're going to keep the camera right here. And we are going to add a gun, and we're going to be shooting soon enough. Don't worry about that. That's probably going to come next episode. We've got some cool gun models that are completely free, and I'll show you guys that. But with the camera, make sure you have use uh, pawn control rotation check because if you don't then you will not be able to look around now let's uh, pause everything we're doing here real quick and hop over to our uh, bro dude anims uh, we're gonna be doing something over here later but I forget how to do that so I'm gonna have to look back but right here in our uh, in our anim graph let's uh, let's stretch this out because we're going to add uh, some uh, extra nodes and what those nodes are I believe are bone uh, uh, transform modify bone that's what it is we're gonna want three of those and that is so we get a smooth looking uh, aim set now this is called this isn't actually an aim set what an aim set is is it's completely different and if you are better at creating an aim set if you've already done that already go ahead and do this but what that is is it's an aim offset or that, that's it not aim set aim offset and that is where you put each of the looking animations whether it's up top left top down bottom right it's pretty much a blend space for aiming and I don't like it I hate it I I despise it and this personally works way much better it's easier and it looks better in my opinion especially if your animations are a piece of crap um, so what we're doing here is we're taking advantage of the three spine bones. Now the, the three spine bones are spine 2, spine 3, and uh, spine, spine 1 I think is what we're going to use. I think we're going to yeah, I think we're using 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit more. Um, so what we're going to do is take advantage of those and have those uh, bend depending on how we look. So we're going to connect each one of these to the next one uh, and then this to that and then we're just going to even it all out. Sweet! Now, what we have here are um, is is translation, rotation, scale, and alpha. We need one of those three. Now, if you haven't guessed already, I don't blame you because you're probably watching this because you're new. But if you're not new and you haven't guessed it, well, that's fine. I don't blame you still because, I mean, why should you necessarily know? But we are going to be keeping rotation. That's the only thing we want. But let's change each one of these. We're going to change... Oh, wow. I just crashed. That's fun. Um, I will be right back. Uh, after I fix all of this, because I'll, um, yeah, that's fun. I'll, I'll, I'll get it back to where we were. So now that we're right back where we were, and I, uh, you know, still hate crashes, but they happen. Um, I, hey, that's why you save left and right. That's, that has made me super mad. I have crashed after some serious work, and that has taught me my lesson on saving, like, probably every two seconds. <laughs> so, um, like I said, we're going to want to set each one of these to the different spine bone. So this one, spine 1, spine 2, and spine 3. 
Now, we don't need translation as a pin. We don't need scale as a pin. And we don't need alpha as a pin. Same thing for all three of these. Come on. There we go. I should have just done that in the first place and then duplicated them, but you know, I'm, I'm smart, totally. So, now we need to create a variable. So, just call this, promote this to variable and call it aim rotation. Good, I spelled it because in the last time I did not spell that properly. So we're going to compile that and then we're going to uh, set it up so that way we can uh, also connect each one of these to the aim rotation. Sorry, that's important. We're going to set it up so that way uh, our aim rotation modifies our bones and whatnot over here. But I'm going to have to watch how I did it one more time. And uh, I'm probably going to do it all and then show you guys how it's done. So I will be right back with that. This needs to be add to existing. Um, sorry, I for, yeah, I did forget this because the error reminded me. It said either rotation, translation, scale should be set to something other than ignore. And I'm like, what? And then that reminded me. All three of these, actually. Can I bulk it? No, I can't. Darn. Um, this needs to be add to existing. And then uh, it needs to be a bone space. Um same thing for each one of these add to existing bone space add to existing bone space otherwise stuff is going to get pretty messed up compile that save it up once more and then i'll be right back with on how to do this all right so i have done it and i'm going to explain it to you best of my ability obviously just how i did it so you're going to want to sequence from event blueprint update animation the then one needs to go to set animation rotation. Leave that there. Now drag off from cast a character and get control rotation. That's the rotation for our mouse and all of that and and uh, obviously just the controller or controlled rotation of uh, you know what our mouse is doing. Break that rotator and off of the Y we're gonna get three different things but before we do that right click uh, somewhere else and get select float. Now we're going now uh, back to the the Y, which uh, should be right, but you can uh, your values might change depending on what your if how messed up your project is and whatnot. It it, it just depends. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Um. So you're gonna want to get negative, or, or um, you're gonna want to multiply. You're gonna want to uh, get less than, uh, or get greater than if uh pitch is uh, if the Y is greater than 180 that goes to pick a um, m Y multiplied by negative 1 goes to pick B and then um, 360 minus Y goes to a I said pick B just B and then the 360 minus whatever Y is goes to a then we divide that by 3 now I don't understand this math really I, I understand part of it. This is uh, if our rotation is too far, then we have to switch over to a different set because if it goes too far, then it does this weird snapping thing where it goes too far, like his head will be underneath his legs and stuff, and it's just, or he'll bend too far back or bend too far forward, and we don't want that. So this just pretty much lets it know how far, um, how far, uh, or which rotation it needs to be using. Uh, and putting out to here to the aim rotation, depending on how what our what this value is. So it just regulates, uh, you know, distance and whatnot, or how far you can go and and uh, and um, makes so it doesn't glitch out. Obviously, this is dividing by the three bone breaks, and then you make the rotator obviously and automatically sets it to roll. Then you get your aim rotation. Or you you take the return value, put to your aim rotation. So if everything is fine and dandy, that should uh, that should be set. But obviously it's not, so I'm missing something. So I'm going to figure out what's wrong. But you guys, uh, that's that's how you do that part. I misled you. I I I I lied, and I don't want to lie to you guys. But I said do bone space. 
it's component space on all three of them, mind you. Bone space makes makes him turn this way. I'll undo that. And then component space actually makes him turn the proper way like we want. So you're going to want component space. So now if we look, you'll 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 be able to see actually. Let's change our camera. Let's um if we do that, does that screw things up? Yes, it does. I know it does. Yep, okay. Anyways, that's that's fine. That's what I wanted. It demonstrates you you can't go too far. You can't go too back. Because I'm pretty sure as a normal person standing up, I'm pretty sure you could lean that far back. May, maybe this far. I don't know. But, you know, it looks good. Now, uh, now just to set up a good first-person mode, we're going to... Uh, obviously re-enable use pawn control rotation and um, make this the child of the mesh then we're going to want to parent it to the head and now you can see it's way offset but we're just gonna zero in the location so zero 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 so now it's at the head and uh, let's um, it looks good. Um, obviously, we're probably going to change some values um, depending on how the gun clips into our camera and everything. But that looks pretty good, and uh, we can see our feet and stuff, and everything is looking fine and dandy. Shaders are beautiful. Um, the video quality, I don't know how good it is because I haven't really looked at my videos in OBS yet. But uh, yeah, that's how we get that. Um, that's how we get that special uh, easier pawn or uh, psh, oh my gosh I'm losing it already I'm losing it that's how we get that easier a aiming rotation or aim offset whatever you want to call it and uh, I need to find a way to prevent clipping into stuff I'm sure I'll come up with a way so one of these days probably just better collisions yeah either way Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, maybe comment on it saying, hey, this really helped. Or, you know, suggestions for what I can do in the future after I get past the basics of the FPS series. Also, if you guys didn't already know, I have uh, some gaming that I do and uh, RPG series, an old FPS series that I've discontinued because of this. And, last but not least... No, no, actually, that's about it. I'm, I'm a pretty poor channel. I don't have that many subscribers, um, and I have barely, like, 100,000 views. I'm pretty broke. Haven't made that much money off YouTube yet. Either way, um, uh, I would just like to say thanks for all of you who've been sticking around for all the videos, even the new ones and stuff and the gaming stuff, and I'll uh, hopefully see the rest of you in the next one.